Farmer Joe. Hi, I'm Farmer Joe. Today we'll be showing you how sugar gets from a paddock to your plate. People like sugar because it's sweet and it gives you energy. Sugar is produced from a giant tropical grass called sugarcane. Sugar is made in the leaves of a sugarcane plant by a natural process called photosynthesis. The sugar is stored as sweet juice in its stalks. The sugarcane stalks are harvested and converted into raw sugar. Now I'm going to show you how you turn sugarcane into sugar. First, the sugarcane is planted. Sugarcane is grown by replanting parts of the cane stalk. Growers cut some of the fully grown cane stalks into lengths called sets. The sets are planted by machines which drop them into furrows, add fertiliser and cover them with soil. And then we wait for them to grow. Sugarcane needs strong sunlight, good soil and lots of water to grow. After a few weeks, new shoots grow from the buds on the joints of the sets and break through the surface of the soil. Up to 12 stalks grow from each set to form a stool of sugarcane. A crop of cane takes 9 to 16 months to grow in Queensland. In northern New South Wales, where it is cooler, it takes 18 to 24 months to grow. When ripe, the cane is about 2 to 4 metres tall! Well, Yana, when the cane's that tall, it's time to harvest. During the harvest, the cane harvester drives along each row and cuts the cane stalk off at the bottom of the plant. Then the long stalk is cut into many shorter lengths called billets. Another machine called the cane hauler drives alongside the harvester collecting all the billets. Sugar cane is harvested during the dry months between June and December each year depending on the weather. Once the cane is harvested, Yana, we need to get it to the mill. Yes, Farmer Joe, as soon as possible. The longer it takes, the more sugarcane juice in the stalks will evaporate. The cane haul-out collects the billets until it is full, then drives across the paddock to where it unloads into a truck or goes to the nearest cane train to unload. The sugar cane is taken to the sugar mill, ready to be made into raw sugar. When the cane arrives at the mill, it is weighed and processed at an automatic cane receiving station. The bullets are tipped onto a cane carrier for transport to the shredder, which chops and shreds the cane. Large rollers then crush it. This separates the juice from the fibrous material called bagasse, which is used to fill the mill's boiler furnaces. The juice is pumped away for processing into raw sugar. It is cleaned and thickened into a syrup. It is then seeded with tiny sugar crystals in a vacuum pan and boiled until the sugar crystals have formed and grown. These crystals are separated from the molasses around them in centrifuges that are like giant spin dryers. The crystals are then tumble dried to produce raw sugar and stored in large bins. Sugar, 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 sugar. Refining from raw to ready to eat. The sugar. The raw sugar needs further refining before we can eat it. This is done at a refinery. At the refinery, the raw sugar crystals are washed and dissolved in hot water. Carbon dioxide and lime are added to remove any impurities. Then the sugar is filtered through a cloth to remove any leftover colours and impurities. The pure sugar is then boiled in a vacuum pan and seeded with fine sugar crystals. When the crystals are large enough, they are tumble dried to remove the moisture. The dried sugar is then ready for delivery to the customers. So there you have it, how sugar is made. From the paddock to your plate. <laughs>